Good morning children. Now we know how to figure if two ratios are in proportion by checking if they can be represented by equivalent fractions. There is another way to and let us see it. This is Aman and this is Anand. They both bought marbles for playing. Aman bought 40 marbles and Anand bought 60 marbles. Aman paid rupees 30 to buy the 40 marbles and Anand paid 45 rupees to buy 60 marbles. Now the ratio of money spent in buying marbles by them is represented by a fraction as 30 by 45. Now let us reduce it to the lowest term. So 15 twos are 30 and 15 threes are 45. So this fraction is reduced to its simplest form as 2 by 3. We can say the ratio of money spent in buying marbles by them is equal to 2 is to 3. Now the ratio of marbles bought by them can be represented by the fraction 40 by 60. Now let us reduce this fraction to its lowest term. We will divide by 20. So 20 twos are 40 and 20 threes are 60. So this fraction is reduced to 2 by 3. Now so the ratio becomes 2 is to 3. What do we see? Both the ratios are same that is 2 is to 3 which means the two ratios are in proportion. So we can write the statement of proportion as 30 is to 45 is as 40 is to 60. So this was the statement of proportion. Here if we read all the four quantities in order then they are known as the respective terms. So 30 is to 45 is as 40 is to 60. In this 30 and 60 are the extreme terms and 45 and 40 the inner ones are called the middle terms or the means. Now the statement is 30 is to 45 is as 40 is to 60. Since these are equivalent fractions we can write as 30 by 45 is equal to 40 by 60. Now this you will learn in next class but for remembering easily this is the left side and this is the right side. Now on the left hand side the fraction is 30 by 45. Here 45 is the divisor and this is the right hand side and here 60 is the divisor and the left hand side is equal to right hand side. So when this goes to the left side the divisor becomes the multiplier same way when 45 goes to the right side it becomes the multiplier and what do we get 60 will go this side and 45 will go this side as multipliers and what do we get 30 multiplied by 60 is equal to 40 multiplied by 45 so if you see 30 and 60 are the extreme terms of the statement of proportion and 45 and 40 which are these two are the middle terms or the means in the statement of proportion. Let's verify 30 multiplied by 60 is equal to 1800 same way 45 multiplied by 40 is also equal to 
1800. So we see that product of extreme terms is equal to product of middle terms when the two ratios are in proportion and when the four terms are expressed in the statement of proportion. So what did we learn? That in a statement of proportion like here 30 is to 45 is as 40 is to 60 product of extreme terms is always equal to the product of middle terms or the means. So 30 into 60 is equal to 45 into 40. Let us figure out if these two ratios are in proportion. 33 is to 44 and 75 is to 100. So let us assume that these two ratios are in proportion and write a statement of proportion for them. So the statement of proportion becomes 33 is to 44 is as 75 is to 100. Now here 33 and 100 are the extreme terms and 44 and 75 are the middle terms or the means. And if the statement of proportion is correct, then what will be true? Product of middle terms. So, 33 and 100 are the extreme terms and 44 and 75 are the middle terms. In the statement of proportion, the product of extreme term would be 33 multiplied by 100 which is equal to 3300. Next, product of middle term is 75 into 44. This is also equal to 3300. As both the product are same, we can say the two ratios are in proportion, which means our assumption was correct and the two ratios are in proportion. 33 is to 44 is in proportion to 75 is to 100. So now you know another way how to find if the two ratios are in proportion or not. That's all for now. Bye bye children.